Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Donatello from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So let's start with the top of the head. We're going to draw a curve from left to right. Starting on the left side, just draw a curve over to the right side. From here we're going to round out the corners, just slightly. And we're going to bring these down to the bottom of the chin area, so the bottom of the head. So starting on the left, we're going to curve out and down. And then on the right side, we'll do the same thing. So curving out to the right, and then curving down. Here we're going to round out the bottom of the chin. So rounding out the corners, curve all the way up to the right side. Now that we have that, let's draw in the eyes. So we're going to draw two large circles. So starting on the left, in the top. So we're generally going to be in the middle of the face. So up on the top, we'll curve down to the bottom, and then back up to the top again. Let's draw the same thing on the right side trying to get it to be roughly the same size on both sides. Okay, now we're going to draw the top edge of the mask. So what's going to be is we're going to start on the side on the left and curve over this eye and then come down to the center. So we're going to curve above the eye and then come down towards the middle and then sort of flatten out. From here we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to curve up towards the right and then curve down into the side of the head like so. Let's draw the bottom of the mask and basically we're just going to flip that over. So starting on the left up here Curve underneath the eye and then up to the middle. And go down underneath the right eye and then back up on the side of the face on the right side. Let's draw in the mouth. We're just going to give them a little smile. So starting underneath the left eye, really wide, we curve over to the right side. From here, we're just going to curve the ends of the mouth. Two little curves. And underneath this mouth, we're just going to draw a little line for some detail under the chin. Let's draw in the little tie that goes on the mask. So on the side here, right where the mask uh, top is and the bottom, I'm just going to draw a little curve like this, sort of like a half circle. From here, we're just going to curve up, in, out, and then back up again. So it's like almost like an elongated S. From this point, we're just going to curve straight into that half circle. Right in the middle here, I'm just going to draw a straight line out. Just a little, little wrinkle just to show it's folded over. From here, we're going to come down to the bottom of the circle and curve up and then going outwards. From this point, we're just going to tuck this in underneath that fold there. And then, right, like we did at the top, we're just going to draw a little wrinkle line like so. Okay, now that we got the face, let's get into the body. So the shoulders will be roughly about here. I'm going to draw a curve all the way down to the bottom of the body, just one smooth curve. So the body, I'm going to make it quite short. So right where my finger is, I'll start on the left side, and curve down to the bottom, and back up on the right side like so. Let's draw on the belt. So right in the middle here, on the lower third, we're going to draw a circle. This is where Duntel's logo will be. So we're just going to draw the letter D. So line down, and then curving around like so. We're going to draw the top edge of the belt. So starting on the left, we're going to curve down and in towards that circle, tucking it in underneath on both sides. We're just going to make it twice as thick. So just following that same line on both sides. And from here we're just going to draw the ties coming down, so angle line coming out, make it a little bit thicker, and then coming back in, and we'll draw the same thing on the right side. So the belt ends just sticking out the bottom. Now here we're going to draw a straight line down the middle behind that belt. So starting underneath this D, we'll just draw a straight line down. We're going to go straight up, but we're going to stop just before we get to the chin. We're going to curve out to the left. We'll curve out to the right. And we're going to draw some chest details, so the separation in the chest. Starting on the left side, we're just going to curve down and up. Curve down and up. Let's draw on some arms. So this arm I'm just going to have just in a fist position. So starting up here, just left of that chest area, I'm going to curve down like this. We're going to go down to the inner part of the arm and curve down. From here we're going to draw the thumb. We'll draw a little bump for the thumb and draw one finger. So we're just going to do a big curve like this. Now this end here, I'm just going to curve it and tuck it in underneath that one finger there. And the thumb, between the thumb and the finger, we're just going to draw a little curve just to show a little bit of wrinkle there. Now let's draw in some wristbands. So from this point, we want to go to the outside of the arm. So curving like that making that twice as thick. 
We're gonna draw a little elbow pad. So up here, I'm gonna draw a curve going out and out on the other side. Let's draw the other arm. This arm, I'm gonna have him holding the staff. So we're gonna draw the top of the arm first. So the distance between the chest and the outer arm, we're gonna do the same here. So coming out a little bit, drawing a curve to the hand. So the hand's gonna be like this. So what we need to do is draw the thumb. So what I'm gonna do, starting from here, curving around, a little loop like that. Right here, I'm gonna draw one finger, a little curve like this. And then we're gonna just do an overlap and draw the second finger and we're gonna tuck this all the way around into that thumb. From here, I'm gonna take this line and just curve it in. So we've got the bottom part of the hand. And this is gonna curve up underneath the chest, like so. Let's draw on some wristbands. So from here, I'm gonna curve a line like that. Make that twice as thick. And then for the elbow pad, I'm just gonna curve a line out like this and make it twice as thick, like so. Let's draw on some legs. So the outer part of the leg, I'm gonna start up here by the belt. Curve down to the top of the foot. Do the same thing on the right side. So you see I got the same height and same length. We can go to the inside. So right in here, we're gonna leave a little bit of a gap and draw a curve down to the heel on the left side, curve down to the heel on the right. Now I wanna take this point and just do a curve all the way to the top of that foot. So I'm gonna start at the top, curving the foot. We're gonna split the toe with a little curve like that. Let's draw on a knee pad. So here I'm just gonna draw a curve. And I'm gonna draw a curve that kinda of gets a little tighter as we get to the back of the leg. Let's do the same thing here. So I'm gonna start at the heel, curve around to the front of the foot. Let's split the toe. I'm gonna draw a curve for the knee pad. And then the upper part here gets a little bit wider as it gets to the front of the leg. And we'll draw that staff. So we're gonna to try to draw a nice, two nice straight lines going behind that hand. So starting here, up here, I'm gonna pull a line straight down into that hand, and then continue on just below. Let's make that twice as thick. Coming down right beside it. You can see that I'm tucking this behind those fingers. Coming down to the bottom. Now at the bottom here, I'm just gonna round out to connect those two points, and at the top, I'm gonna to round out upwards. And to give a little bit of detail, I'm just gonna draw a few curves going up, and a few curves going down, like so. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Donatello from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.